What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Capsule size, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. Okay, so this one is a little bit of a clairvoyant vision, just a very short one. And then some clear audience messages. Um, usually, uh, y'all know the channelings I get, I usually don't, it's usually not mixtures of clear audience and clairvoyant, but obvious. It was obvious after I got the vision and I immediately got clear audience after that it went together. So that's why we're doing it together. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do. Who, um, Thanks for all the new subscribers. We're almost to 15,100, so appreciate it so much. Thanks for all the love and support to my channel and my business, and appreciate it. Okay, so, all right. So, I'm going to tell you the clear audience messages first, then I'm going to tell you the, the vision, because I feel it goes better that way, okay? Remember, only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. That's very important, okay? Uh, it's not your story. Don't be forcing it. Don't be forcing anything that doesn't fit. You only take the message or messages that resonate. If you like to view the channel and the videos for the stories, you can do that. But I don't be forcing anything that doesn't fit, okay? Okay, so <clears throat> the clear audience messages was basically, uh, okay, well, I'll tell you the vision first. The vision was two men, two Caucasian men. I'd say, um, 30s to 40s, uh, two, and they were walking out of a very nice hotel. Um, that was it. Oh, oh, and there was a uh, very nice black SUV. Um, that one of them, the nicer looking one. It, in this vision, I was pretty far away, so you know I couldn't like check out the dudes. <laughs> um, <laughs> just being for real, <laughs> I couldn't like check them out, but. One was kind of overweight, one was fit. The one was fit was very nice looking. Um, and I'm just being broke real. That was easy on the eyes then, just saying. Um, but both had dark hair. Both had dark hair. I don't know if it was brown or black. It was pretty far away. But they were both Caucasian, and the older one was overweight. The younger one was fit. They were walking out of the hotel, and the younger one, the fit one, was walking to the black, nice black SUV. And that was the end of the vision. That was it. But it was obvious it was a very nice hotel. Um, and that was it of the vision. Okay, so the clear audience message I received was um, someone's ex-husband um, met, I heard in the past, met with um, someone to pay someone to kill their ex-wife. However, um, energy is about to boomerang back around negatively upon them in a uh, very negative way because it was an attempted murder plot. And what they didn't know is who they met with was a FBI agent. Boom, got you, bitch. Oh, damn. <laughs> so you plug it in, I'll resonate. <laughs> <clears throat> You plug in how it resonates. So this could be your ex-husband or somebody you're connected to's ex-husband. You plug it in how it resonates. But somebody, okay, so from the vision, I'm feeling one of those individuals was the ex-husband and one was the FBI agent. Under, But I'm assuming the ex-husband has no damn clue. He was a, uh, he's an FBI agent. Has no clue. It's about to backfire in such a huge ass way. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so he has no clue. He had, he had no clue when he met with him. He was an FBI agent. <laughs> Holy shit. A moly. Ah, it's so juicy. <laughs> so he had no idea when he met with him. He was an FBI agent. Basically, when he basically met with him, I'm assuming in the hotel, I don't think they were in there banging it up. I would hope the younger guy, which I'm thinking the younger guy in the vision was the FBI agent. I'm thinking. Um, he was hot as hell. 
He was hot as hell. <laughs> I hope they weren't in there banging it up. If they didn't look romantically compatible, I'll tell you that. Um, the older dude was not near as good looking as the younger one. So I don't think it was for sex. I don't think it was romantical. They were not on the same playing field romantical uh, look-wise. It was a completely different areas there. I mean, you're talking about like a like a 9.5 to a 4. And I'm just, I mean, strictly look-wise. We're talking about just look-wise here. There's many avenues to rape somebody. But look-wise, like a 9.5 to a 4. So they were not on the same playing field, romantical, um, like external factors for appearances, for romantic. <coughs> oh, tower moment. Oh, my God. What the hell? For romantical compatibility. Hold on one second, you guys. I gotta clean this shit up. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I don't think it was for sex or gay to play or something like that. I think it was the vision was one of them was the ex husband, it was the meeting. With the FBI agent, he didn't know he was an FBI agent. But he is, and it's about to backfire on him in a huge-ass way on the ex-husband. Um, I think that vision was those two meeting, and the ex-husband contacted him as a, a hitman to kill, uh, or not to, well, to kill, but contracted to hire to off his ex-wife. But it hasn't happened. Um, it hasn't happened. And the guy that um, the ex-husband doesn't know he's an FBI agent. Someone is getting a huge ass wake up call. Someone is getting a huge ass wake up call. I mean, I'm serious. Tower moment, baby. Just saying, just saying. Damn. This is about to backfire in such a huge way. This ex-husband is about to experience negative tower moment after 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 negative tower moment. After negative tower moment. His life is about to fall apart. Oh my God. Damn. <laughs> oh, that's what you get for trying to contract out a hitman killer to kill your ex-wife. That's attempted murder, conspiracy to kill. He might need to hear that. Hopefully his ass ends up in prison. Just saying. Um, so, I mean, he went to that greater lengths to converse with somebody. Um, I'm assuming pay him or converse with him to prospectively pay him to off his ex-wife. But I heard the ex-wife's still living. She's still living. And that dude is actually an FBI agent. Backfire, baby. Okay, so negative tower moment. Uh, I hopefully a upright FBI agent. We know we have. Everybody knows we've got FBI agents that don't do the right thing, and we got FBI agents that do do the right thing. So hopefully this dude does the right thing. I mean, it sounds like he's about to because I heard it's about to um, backfire on the ex-husband. Um, the ex-husband's about to experience like a shit ton of negative tower moments. I'm not even going to tell you how many negative tower moments I heard. It was a shit ton. So negative tower moment after negative tower moment. A shit ton of negative tower moments. He's about to have a huge ass burden, baby. Well, that's what he gets for meeting and conspiring to kill his ex-wife. That, that, this kind of shit should be like on the first 48 prime TV or some shit. I think he's about to be scared, or he is scared, that maybe um, his plan is about to be exposed, or uh, or what have you, what have you. Let's see if I hear anything. He is about to ever regret doing this. His life is about to fall apart. 
He's about to ever. That's the set, double deuces. Double deuces of ever regret doing this. He's about to ever regret doing this. His life's about to fall apart. Sanctuary. He's about to be scared. Uh, for some, maybe he's staying indoors. Uh, maybe. Um, I mean, information is about to get out like wildfire about this. Wildfire. Information's about to get out like wildfire about this. About wild, uh, like wildfire. So. Information is about to get out like wildfire about this ex-husband conspiring to kill his ex-wife. The ex-wife, he, he, it did not work because whoever the hell he was meeting with, which I think the prospective hitman was that young, nice-looking ass dude in the vision. Ooh la la, just saying. Externally, externally he was nice to look at. That's the damn truth now. Whether he's a good person or not, hell, I don't know. But he was sure nice to look at. That's the damn truth. But however that resonates, I think that was the perspective hitman killer but he hasn't killed her he hasn't killed her um and it's about to backfire on the ex-husband and it's about to get around like wildfire basically about the ex-husband conspiring to kill the ex-wife completions of cycles but she's still freaking alive man completions of cycles that's about to get around like wildfire completions of cycles that sounds like the undercover fed man that he met with in the hotel i'm feeling is about to turn the tables on his ass. And completions of cycles, I think his ass is about to be scared. I heard his life is about to fall apart. So I think this is, in this aspect, it's scared energy um, because his life is about to fall apart. The ex-husband could be an earth sign or the ex-wife could be an earth sign or the Fed agent could be an earth sign or have earth in their chart. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their chart, possibly. Um, so you, Fed agent, could have Earth in your chart, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in your chart, possibly, because we have Earth. Or the ex-husband could have Earth in their chart, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their chart. Or the ex-wife could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in her chart. You plug it in, how it resonates, unfoldment. Oh my gosh, you can't make this up. Unfoldment, series of time events are about to occur. I heard it's about to get around, like wildfire. So, whoever it's about to get around, like, wildfire too, volatility, um, I think this is the ex-husband's life about to fall apart. Or he's about to get angry that the information's about to get around. Maybe he finds out it gets around. We'll see if we hear anything else. So many negative things are about to start happening to this ex-husband. So many. They're not going to be able to keep up. There's about to be serious chaos in their life. So many things are about to happen to this ex-husband. I heard they won't be able to keep up. They're about to have serious chaos in their life. So chaos and conflict energy. Um, they're about to have negative chaos and conflict type energy in their life. Um, it sounds like negative power moment after negative power moment after negative power moment, which is going to cause the burdens because um, they're about to have so many negative power moments in their damn life. Um, you play it in how it resonates, but I think this um, undercover Fed agent um, is about to pre precipitate this. Just saying. This ex-husband drugged this undercover fat agent into this in the past. They're about to ever regret they did. The tables have turned. Okay, this um, ex-husband drugged this undercover fat agent into this in the past. They're about to ever regret they did. The tables have turned. So the tables have turned. 
It sounds like the undercover Fed agent is about to expose his ass, is what I think. Or create a series of chain events with the Dan Go Tower moment. So how that resonate? Hell, I don't know. I'm not the undercover Fed agent. I'm not affiliated with Feds. I'm just delivering you the messages. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.